It's your boy Justin, and we're celebrating X Men Month. And today we're reviewing Wolverine, Nick Fury, the Scorpio Collection. Which, by the way, I have to mention this. Uh, I wasn't even going to review this till like, uh, like, uh, like when I till I got back from work. But today, I got like 15 minutes before I was about to go to work. I get a call from my boss. Oh, you're not going to work today. <laughs> So it was like, crap, 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 crap. So that's not good. So, yeah. Uh, I, I should just say this now, or I'm never going to say it. We're going to take a break from... I mentioned this on Kevin's stream, which for people, new people, I have a friend named Kevin Street who does like... Used to do Let's Plays, like, Let's Play streams, but now he does more like Q&A stuff. And I mentioned on that stream, hey, because, you know, some of my act, more active subscribers are from that stream. So I mentioned, hey, I'm going to be taking a break after X-Men month and I might be done for YouTube for good. Uh, I don't know. I For now, I, just, I changed my mind. I'm going to do maybe a video once a week, but, you know, it's going to be mostly, uh, I'm going to be doing book I'm going to be doing monthly book reviews, maybe a game review, and that's it. Because I need to focus more. Like, I'm 30-something years old, guys. <laughs> you get to a point where, man, it's like I wasted my 20s. It's time. I need to make up for lost time. I need to get married, have kids, work, focus more on a career. And this job I have right now is not, is not cutting it, bro. It's not cutting it. You need that paper. You need that scratch. You need that money. So you can get a wife and have kids, and I need to focus on that. So I'm, I'm work. I already uh, started working on my novel, uh, like I yesterday, and I made a lot of progress. I'm pretty. I'm almost ready to write it. I just need to focus on some stuff and do some more research, and then like yeah, I can start writing, like shit. I might just say screw it, just write the book, and then. Do the research afterwards and just fix it in editing. That's kind of a dumb idea, but we'll 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 see. We'll figure that out. So yeah, that's the little update. Plus, I did a review for this guy, uh, but it was a little too spicy for YouTube. <laughs> uh, your boy's a little afraid he might get got if he uploads it. So, but it's like it's the thing where like if I don't upload it, I'm pussy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm going to post it. Uh, it's going to be like age restricted or unlisted. I don't know, but it's going to be on the playlist. So people check out the X-Men Month Review playlist if you want to watch this. So yeah, next we go, we talk about this. Okay, so this collects free comics from the... First one was from 89, the other are from the 90s. So the first one is the Scorpio Connection, written by Archie Goodwin. Here's the original cover. It's from like 1989 with art by Howard Clayton, the guy who's known as the Frank Miller of uh, of the uh, Shadow Comics, according to to what's his name, uh, Razor Fist. Which here is uh, another Howard Clayton book, Midnight Moscow. We did a review for this, by the way. So check out that review. I'm not a huge fan fan of uh, Howard Clayton. He's a bit. You can tell he leans a certain political way. By the way, they do a shout out to Sharenko, who I guess created Scorpio. So this story is about basically uh, there's a new Scorpio in town, and he kill he kills a bunch of Shield agents, and one of them has uh, happens to be a friend of Wolverine, right? So that. That causes, by the way, it also starts off, well, you can tell this is like the 80s when they're trying to be a bit more grittier. So they set up like, oh yeah, this girl, uh, this character, I guess who was uh, like a uh, love interest of like uh, Nick Fury may or may not be a lesbian now. And she's getting like, you know, she's turning down this chick who wants to go in a relationship. Or she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, no, uh, office, you know, romances don't work. Sorry. So it's the 80s. We have to be gritty. We have to show like, you know, stuff like this. So yeah, it starts off with like, you know, uh, Nick Fury's also having a midlife crisis, even though he's like 50 or 60 something, <laughs> which I thought didn't, I heard her like Nick Fury and his, um, his like shield buddies 
had like some magic bullshit so like they age slower or something so like i don't know what he's worried about but yeah because like this guy fought in world war ii next to next to like steve rogers bro so like how is he this guy in like his 50s when like you know the uh, the the war would have been like 40 40 no sorry 50 years ago this is like the 80s right so the war started in like the 30s so you also have a thing where the x-men fight fight uh arcade and they beat the shit out of them which this was cool it, it was like only like two pages by the way and that's when like you know arcade tells him hey uh your boy your boy got got. Your shield agent boy got got. So Wolverine goes looking for Scorpio. Which this was a cool scene. Because it's like. Yeah. Like this guy's like talking about. Like oh I a analyzed the button. And the computer is like. Shut the fuck up nerd. <laughs> That's fucking Scorpio. How the fuck do these dumbasses not know who Scorpio is dude. Oh my god. That was funny. That was funny. But yeah. So basically. Wolverine and Nick Fury team up to go after Scorpio. Only for Scorpio to turn out to be the son of the original Scorpio, which was Nick Fury's brother. Which, that turns out to be not true, by the way. So, uh, here's a great scene where this guy, is, it's uh, Mikkel, who is, uh, spoiler, it's Nick Fury's actual son. Because you find out Nick Fury cucked his brother, which is like... Man, no wonder like your your brother became a super villain and wa wanted to kill you. You're cut. <laughs> you men shouldn't cut other men. I mean, you shouldn't. But if you're going to, you shouldn't cut your fucking own brother, dude. That's fucked up. And here's a scene where like, I think if if you're not an incel, you you probably this happened to you where you're. Uh, he's talking to these two hot women and like he gets cucked by his mom. Which, th this was weird. Yeah. So, he, he's not happy. I get he, he, he goes on a little, like, uh, you know, uh, road rage. Like, uh, he, he roided out <laughs> super hard. Because he got cucked by his mom. Which, we... Holy fuck. The, I think, like, there's... I don't know. Unless, you know, you're an incel, this is going to happen to you at least once where you get cucked by your mom, dude. Fuck. So, here we get the backstory of how, like, you know... Wolverine first met, uh, I think this guy's name's David, I don't remember. Because th these were short stories. So I really like the art here. Yeah, but spoiler alert, it find, we find out that, you know, that basically, like I told you, Wolverine, we find out who this guy is, that he's actually, um, J is actually not Jake's son, but is actually Nick's son. And that because of that, Nick doesn't want Wolverine to kill this guy. So yeah. So that uh only for like Wolverine to kill like uh what's her name? So by the way, this before before like Wolverine killed her, she was going to kill her son and Nick Fury. Only for Wolverine to, you know, save them both. So yeah. So th this was a good scene. You would like Writing wise, this was almost uh, like as good as like you know Howard Clayton, but better because it's not as lipped hardish. <laughs> which, uh, if you read like Howard Cl Clayton's uh, work, it's it's very good. It's very well written, but it's very it's lipped hard at times too. So next we have this uh, the second story in here, which is another Wolverine Nick Fury crossover, which is called Wolverine Bloody Choices by Tom De Fal Falco wrote it. And John Bishima did the art. And the art is fantastic, dude. He also has his, uh, you know, brown and yellow or tan costume. By the way, Ralph Malchio is here again. But apparently it's not D. Ralph Malchio. Even though I heard, I read a thing that said, like, you know, that, like, I, like when I read Marvel Zombies, there was, like, an uh, introduction where, like, fucking um where fucking robert kirkman talked about meeting ralph macchio and it was like you know that he was an editor and he was like working like he was the guy from the karate kid so i maybe i misremembered that i don't know i have to go check out that fucking uh trade paper back again but basically what happens is like wolverine 
is in Cuba or whatever. I forget what country. And he sees this kid try to kill this fat guy. And this fat guy has a bodyguard who, t who looks like Wolverine, dude. And Wolverine, there's this inside joke. There's like, not inside joke, because there's implications where all oh, they may or may not be brothers. Because this is back when Wolverine, you know, he, he does, doesn't have his full memory. So we find out that the, this is where we find out that this, this very much reminded me of the man, the, uh, the gringo, that Mel Gibson movie. That, that Mel Gibson movie that he made, that made like after he got canceled, dude. And that movie was very good. If you haven't seen the gringo with Mel Gibson, holy fuck, it was a good movie. That's basically this, but comic book form. So I don't know, that, I mean, it's different enough where it's like, you know, because... It's different enough where it's not the same. So basically, you find out this kid may or may not have been uh, some creepy stuff was going on with Bullfinch, who's a drug, who's a drug runner, and may or may not have a thing for you know sex stuff. Like, you got people remember this is when everybody was trying to copy, like you know Alan Moore and shit like that, right? So Wolverine's like, yeah, I'm gonna go after this fat fuck. <laughs> That fat fuck is gonna get shredded by my claws. Uh, only for you know, and here we see like their drug runners. There's cocaine. He he gets in his first fight with Shiv, which at first he's like Shiv is like he. Oh, by the way, here we get a thing where like they they compare him to like you know Batman, and also they they make fun of Wolverine because they they're like oh like this says it all, isn't it? Do I have to say what do they accuse him of? And yeah, we, we he meets Nick, and like and like Wolverine doesn't like getting compared to Bat to uh, Batman. Why don't they just say Batman? Dude? Like, come on. But yeah, we find out like oh yeah, Nick Fury doesn't want Wolverine to kill the fat fuck because the fat fuck is gonna snitch on cartels. So he need the uh, Nick Fury needs the fat fuck alive so he can snitch so he can snitch on the cartels. But yeah, like, uh, Wolverine does not like that, dude. Does not like that at all. And, and even, like, you have, like, other members of S.H.I.E.L.D. are like, dude, like, fuck this fat fuck. Like, just kill him, dude. <laughs> it's like, no, we need to know his information, dude. And there, there's even a fucked up scene, right, where... Uh, also, you get like a one-on-one -on -one fight. This guy has like you know blades coming off his hands. But it turns out they're fake. So don't worry. He's not actually the brother of Wolverine. So yeah. So Wolverine, uh, Wolverine was going to kill him, but like there's like you have more than you have multiple scenes where like Wolverine's about to kill somebody, but they snitch on somebody. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll let this guy live because he snitched. Also, we get this scene where like the dudes in his bunker and they're hiding out from Wolverine and the cartel, only for the Lawyer guy, uh, Gus from Breaking Bad, to bring basically a kid. And like Wolverine's like, get the fuck out of here. He bitch slaps the guy. And he's like, Pro this fat fuck like, is there a problem, Nick Fury? I thought you were a professional. It's like, get the fuck out of here. So yeah, like they got the kid, they get the kid out. So yeah, Wolverine knows where the fat fuck is and he's coming after him. And uh, Nick Fury lets everybody go because he doesn't want, you know... Wolverine wants this fat fuck dead. So you get between him and the fat fuck, you're going to get hurt. So, like, Nick Fury's like, okay, bitches, leave. So there's you got a one-on-one -on -one showdown with Nick Fury and Wolverine, and it was pretty good, dude. It, it, it was pretty good. Only for, obviously, Wolverine wins. But, you know, he got... He gave... A, Nick Fury gave a... Like, gave as he got, you know. So, by the way, Wolverine should have probably died a couple times, but yeah. But and we here we get the brutal demise of this guy. He gets caught in, tr he's while trying to run away from Wolverine. He gets caught in barbed wire, loses an eye, begs for his life, and his Wolverine's like, "Fuck you, you die, bitch." Because we have to make Wolverine, uh, we have to make Wolverine different enough from Batman, so he has to kill. So yeah. And here we get the last story here, Scorpio Rising. This is, you have art by Shane McManus, with, written by Howard Clayton. And you can tell this is after the, the art at first does not look too bad. But yeah, this is very much, 
uh, Tom McFarlane wannabe. So basically, what happens is Carpe there's a the there's like a civil war in Carpegia. They kill like all the democratic leaders because. Uh, and Carpatia turns out to be the home country of Mikkel and his mom. So we find out Mikkel has been training as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent with his dad. But decides to leave and steal the Scorpio key, key so he can go back and free his country, right? And Nick Fury and Wolverine go after him. Because Wolverine just happens to be, well, happened to be in Carpatia at the time, you know, for, for trying to protect the innocents and go after, you know... The bad guys, which the bad guys, it turns out it's Hydra is funding the, you know, the Q and are just tr want to install the, install the, the monarchy, right? And here we get a funny scene where, uh, where they, they send these two female assassins to go and basically seduce, su seduce, uh, Mikkel. To get him to work for the bad guys. And you have this very funny scene where basically he's about to get laid. And what happens? He gets cucked by his mom from beyond the grave. <laughs> Your boy gets cucked again by his mom. <laughs> Holy shit. Only for like Wolverine and like, you know, Nick Fury to show up. By the way, they started, they painted his, they inked his arms yellow even though you can tell that's his, supposed to be his natural arms because you can see the arm hair so and that's not a, a mistake they made on one panel they did the mistake for the rest of the book dude so it's like holy shit so yeah the book ends with them uh being hydra taking back the scorpio key and uh because they took it for a while and uh you won't believe this mickle becomes the new president of carpecia and nick is proud the end so why would I give this? Uh, I would give it 8 out of 10. Check it out. Uh, our next review for X-Men Month is uh, going to be... Where did I put the books? Oh, shit. I had them here. Uh, fuck. Where did I put it? Oh, it's way back here. Oh, shit. It's going to be... Excellent issues one through three. Peace out.